Hello, hello, and welcome back to more DML. So, of course, the new Divine event has finally begun. And as soon as we open it up, we get this new screen here where you can see Anubis, you can see Ra on the left, and, of course, a lot of people's favourites, the Black Hole Dragon. So... There is also this that pops up as well that says a dragon collection event has started. Collect all the Egyptian deities and get the all-powerful Hathor as a reward. So, as you probably already know, you have to collect every other divine dragon in the entire event and you unlock the Hathor dragon, which um, is by far the strongest dragon in DML. He has a very interesting looking egg as well. What the heck is that? But, anyway, of course... We need to get a hand into this event, and Jesus, uh, that looks very spooky. I don't know what the heck has been going on with the Golden Pyramid, but let's go. So, we get this little screen here, and of course, at the moment, we're only in Chapter 1 of 4. So, we get Chapter 1, which is the first half of the castle event. Chapter 2 is going to be a Divine Chest. Chapter 3 is the second half of the castle event, and Chapter 4 is another divine chest section but um the main rewards for this chapter it says is anubis ra hathor the black hole the ghost and we've got badges that we can earn as well but we do have the castle event itself so let's get into it so adventure satchel check sandproof shoes check well i'm as ready as i'll ever be professor hogwin is sending me on a very important mission to this mysterious pyramid that just appeared nearby Nobody's ever seen anything like it, so there could be undiscovered dragons inside. Or undiscovered danger. Probably a bit of both. In any case, it's a daring journey that calls for a daring trainer like me. Let's go. Well, she's certainly very confident about this. So, there are six levels to this Golden Pyramid Part 1, and there is a week that we have to do this. So, just like old castle events, you get... Scarabs, aka event currency, by collecting gold, food, breeding, feeding, winning battles, and catching creatures. But, let's go into level 1. So, whoa! Sprawling dunes, mysterious ruins, soaring pyramids, where on Dragonlandia am I? You're in the ancient past, you simpleton, and for once, I'm not appalled to see you. Eliza, what are you doing here with that dragon? If it's a fight you want, I'll gladly deliver. Put up your dukes. Heinrich's time machine took us here. He plans to alter history so that we Vikings are victorious. But he also plans to meddle with time enough to make me his bride. Oh, victory or no, I am not letting that happen. That is a good-ass reason to not want that to happen, to be fair. I guess this Anubis dragon sensed that something was wrong. The silly thing won't leave me alone. So, now we have to progress through the section of the event using the Anubis dragon, and our first fight is against a pep. So, ladies, I insist you surrender your Anubis dragon to me. I need it for my most important scheme yet. Whatever, Heinrich, you're clearly no match for me. Yeah, what she said. So, we have to have a little mini fight, so we get to try out the Anubis dragon for ourselves, but he is level 70, Anubis is level 80, so... This is probably, like, the easiest fight you will ever have in your life. But a pep, oh my god, I really wanted to get him. But they did say he was going to be a bundle-only dragon, so that kind of sucks. But, hmm, you haven't seen the last of me. Come, a pep, to the underworld ruins. Ugh, get back here, you troublemaker. Hold on now, did you hear him? He said underworld ruins. Don't you think we might be a little out of our element? I have no idea what the heck is going on, but if we want to progress in the event, we have to spend these red scarabs that we earn through doing quests and stuff, and we need to decide which chest we're going to go for, so we'll probably go for the right-hand side chest here, and this is where the fights start with elemental restrictions, so we can bring, like, any element into this fight here, so, you know, this fight will take all of, like, 10 seconds or something. But the further into the castle events you go, the fewer elements you're actually allowed to use. So it's better to have a bunch of dragons that are all evenly leveled going into these events. If you don't have a ton of dragons that you can use, well, I hope to goodness gracious for your sake that they require the elements that you have on your team. But 
Again, these fights are super easy. We'll open this chest. We got a piece for Ra. So that was not the correct direction. So now we will head over to this left hand side. And we'll take on this fight as well. So, unlike with the old castle events, it doesn't really matter how quickly you progress in the events, because every reset you can get the same amount of items. So don't worry too much if you don't get the key straight away, as long as you're still, you know, coming back, doing all of the, I guess, normal stuff that you would do in DML. Uh, as long as you're coming in frequently and, you know, depleting the full item pools, it's not really an issue anymore. So thank you for the removing that RNG stuff, Gameloft. Very, very much appreciated indeed. So, now we will pop in the six hour squarey berries, we'll come back in the next reset and then we'll be able to collect all that. But, now we have enough currency to continue on. So there we go, we'll open the final chest, there is the key. Let's move on to the next level. So chin up Eliza, the Anubis Dragon found us a key. Now we can waltz right into the ruins, no problem. You're missing the point, doofus. I don't want to waltz into the underworld. <sighs> but the Anubis Dragon seems to want to help me. I mean, us. I guess we should be okay. And we get a little card pack for finishing off level one. So, you know, I don't care too much about that. The only thing I care about is finishing off all these levels because, you know, the level 4 reward is the Ghost Dragon, which is a cool little epic if you've never had him before. Level 5 is that adorable little Black Hole Dragon, like I said before. Really good Shadow Epic to use if you're a relatively new player. Fire Energy Shadow, really high attack. So, even if you can't finish off level 6, at least try and finish level 5 of the event. And then finally, of course, we get the Anubis Dragon for finishing off level 6 of the event. So, the Anubis is still a relatively good dragon. Not as good as some of the other divines, but still worth getting. So, wow, do you see those glowing messages on the walls? They must be divine nightlights. They're called hieroglyphics, you meathead. Whatever they are, they're incredible. I bet I bet collect samples for Hogwin and Ned. And oh my god, look at this little map that we've got going on. We've got little pyramids everywhere, big stone pillars, but this huge little scarab statue in the center is also pretty cool looking. So I do like the map from what I've seen so far. Out of the way, pesky dragons! Don't be rude, Eliza. These guys are probably just protecting the Divine Dragon's temples. But a good old battle will help everyone understand each other. And oh my god, look, there's the Mao dragon. He's so cute. The Fennec dragon and the gazelle. I want all three of these new dragons. I've said it before, but they look so cool. They are some of my favorites coming out of this. Apart from the hippo, obviously, but we did it. Hey, we don't make such a bad team, do we? I'll reserve judgment on that. Anyway, the Anubis dragon will help us smooth over any divine disagreements, I'm sure. Speaking of, I wonder which Divine Dragon lives in this temple. I haven't seen one yet. Y you've seen Anubis. What? Whatever, I, I guess they mean barring <laughs> Anubis, going by that logic, but whatever. Uh, because it's cheaper, we'll head on over to the left side here. And then you've got to sort of work out. If you can do the battles on all of these levels, sometimes it's cheaper to go the routes where the battles are. So, for instance, you know, going through these two fights and going up this way. But I think... If anything, we'll try it and go to this bottom left-hand area instead. So if we want to do that, we need to go and collect some more event currency. So we've done all of our collecting food. We can get more from gold. So now, we need to be breeding, feeding, and winning battles. So, there's these little creatures that are going to spawn as well, which is like, eh, I don't even care that much. But, do we have a space? We don't have a space for him. But if we sell him, what we can do is we can go and pop a fire dragon egg into here. And like all events, buying fire dragon eggs and leveling them up is going to be like the best thing that you can do. Because it means you don't have to waste a lot of food. It only takes like 30 seconds each time. Very, very handy way of, um, I guess, getting through the event very nice and quick. But on top of that, what I'm also going to do is because we have the time skip available to us, I am going to use Kronos to skip time ahead a decent amount. So that then we can do a breed, get a ton of event currency, and keep on going with the event. So, you know, Kronos is um, very useful, but he seems to have crashed our game. 
Uh, maybe that was not the smartest idea if I if I was aware that my game was going to absolutely explode upon use. Alright, so I reloaded, and thank goodness that that did actually work, because for a second there I was like, oh, good god, has my game, like, reset itself, and now we're gonna have to, like, go and do all of our event progress again. But, no, seems like, seems like it did at least save our progress. Oh god, that made me freak out for a second there. But we're alright, we're alright. So we just level up our fire dragon to whatever level we need to, just until you stop seeing the scarabs getting earned, so that's, like, level 14-ish. So we got all the points from that, and with the breeding, generally, it, it's normally better to do fire plus shadow dragons if, you know, you want to get the best value that you possibly can, because, you know, with the resets being every six hours, doing the fire plus shadow it sort of works out at the best possible amount of points you can get. Or, if you are wanting to go for the dragon of the week, honestly, just go for it, just keep breeding, and, you know... A 10 hour breeding time, that's basically the exact same anyway, so if you do want to go for the Dragon of the Week, don't feel too bad about it, it's not actually that bad going for it during the event time, so don't freak out too much about using it. So, final one we have left to do now is winning battles, and, you know, simplest thing in the world, just as you normally would do at any other time in DML, you just go ahead and you do a ton of fights until you get all the event currency that you can. So you can go and do that by doing your blue map fights, you can go and do that by doing arena fights, you can do it by doing dungeon fights, whatever is easiest for you and whatever I guess you have to do in DML today. Anyway, you know, just most of the quests do come down to, you know, doing stuff that you would do in your normal schedule anyway. So that is the basis of how castle events operate and how you get more event currency in the long run. So, you know, I hope that that makes sense. But if you do have any other questions on how the event runs or anything else, you know, do feel free to ask either in the comments or on Discord or wherever else. Because I know that if you're a new player, you know, having so much stuff just flung at your face might be a little bit overwhelming. But trust me, it's a lot simpler than you probably think it is. I mean, just being able to sit here and get food, get our daily resources and that by doing our blue map fights and progressing in the event, pretty good. Pretty good. So we'll just go until we run out of this batch of energy and then we will head back into the event. But it seems like level 2 is actually a little bit expensive because the map looked huge. The map genuinely looks massive on level 2. There's so many different paths to go down, like holy! But anyway, we'll keep going for as long as that like 900 or so scarabs worth actually lets us go. So, we can do this tile here. It's cheaper to go on the right hand side because there's two battles, so we know that we can do these fights. So it's a lot, lot cheaper to go on the right-hand side where the battles are, rather than going on the left. So keep that in mind as well when you are traversing along the map. Because if you'd have gone to the left there, you would have been just wasting your event currency essentially. So there's a lot of little things that will also help you when you go through these sorts of events. Just to, the same as it always was though. You know, the same formula, same sort of process. It's just now we have it on a cool little divine area. Oh my god, look at that statue. He looks so angry. Oh, give me the heebie-jeebies. Well, if we do all of these battles that we can, we do get to actually open this chest. So I'm going to go skip ahead and do that. All right, so I just did all the fights. So let's go. Will we get the key? Nah, not that lucky this time. So yeah, if you don't manage to find the key, you do get pieces for the Ra Dragon at the very least. And if you do want to get the Ra Dragon, you are going to have to open up every single chest in both parts of the castle events as well. So you do want to open up every single chest in these events, so don't feel too bad if you're going to be doing that. But Ra is definitely a tough cookie to get, and he does have extremely high attack. So... He would be my main goal for these events, assuming that, you know, we actually get through all the castle events, finish everything off. He is definitely my main guy that I want to go for, if nothing else. So, um, 
very good dragon. And that is all that we can really do for the event for the next six hours. So there you go. It's as simple as that. And if we go to promotions here, there's also a special bundle out for the Poison Dragon, some Dragon Fury Essence, and 250 event currency. The event currency isn't really worth it, but the Poison Dragon is a cool little dragon. I've never had him myself, but um, he's only a rare. So I don't think you're going to be getting a super cool, you know, battling dragon, but he is available at the moment. And final thing in the shop, if you want a little Scarab Generator, which is mostly, you'd just be buying this because it's a cool little decoration, to be honest, because it only creates seven scarabs per hour, which, to be completely honest, is not really going to help you in the events at all. But if you do want to buy it for the sake of having a limited time little decoration piece, you can get it in the shop for the next day. So those are all the, bu all the bundles that are available at the moment, we will be getting more as the event continues on, so make sure you keep checking the shop out. But that is it for now. That is all that we can do. Seems like everything's kind of broken at the moment, but... You know, we've got all of these divines. Osiris and Isis, I would want them. I doubt that we can get them. And Seth is another one that I want to get. But, I don't know. I don't know how far we can go in terms of getting the Hathor Dragon, of course. But we will see what the drop rates are like for the Divine Chest come next week. But anyway, I have ranted and raved and gone on for far too long. So, thank you very much for joining me today. Good luck with the event. Make sure you're logging in frequently. And until next time, I will see you then.